Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Bethlehem was a place in the ancient land of Judah and was known as the city of David. 2. Jesus' birth in Bethlehem was prophesied hundreds of years before he was born. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Number 3. Mary and Joseph travelled to Bethlehem to register Joseph on a census. When they were travelling, Mary was with child, and while in Bethlehem, she gave birth to Jesus. Number 4. Jesus was born in a manger. As we see on nativity scenes every Christmas, radiant baby Jesus is lying on hay in a feeding trough surrounded by observing animals. He was born in a manger because there was no available guest room. Number 5. Jesus was wrapped in swaddling cloth. Swaddling is a common practice even with newborn babies today. Swaddling is the act of gently wrapping young babies in blankets or cloths. This restricts their movement and makes them feel secure like what they felt in the womb. Finding a baby wrapped in swaddling cloth lying in a manger was one of the signs given to the shepherds to identify the newborn saviour. Number 6. The baby that was born was and is the saviour of the whole world. The very name Jesus means God is our saviour. Jesus, though born as a baby, eventually grew up and lived a perfect life. Number 7. Wise men, also known as Magi, travelled from the east because they saw his star in the east. 8. The wise men came to worship Jesus. After seeing his star, they came to worship him who they called the King of the Jews. The word used for worship is proskuneo, to place your head to the floor to the point of kissing the ground, which gives an indication of what their attitude was like when they finally saw the child Jesus. Number 9. We don't actually know how many wise men there were. Even though we often see three wise men in the nativity scenes, the Bible doesn't actually give the number of how many wise men there were. Number 10. The wise men saw Jesus in a house, not a manger. To clear up a popular misconception, when the wise men found Jesus, he was no longer in a manger, but a house. The wise men first went to Jerusalem to find out where the newborn king was, and after speaking to King Herod, they were sent to Bethlehem. Number 11. The wise men brought gold. Gold has always been a precious commodity and associated with royalty. The Magi saw that this was a fitting gift for a king. Number 12. The wise men brought frankincense. Frankincense is an aromatic resin from the Boswellia tree and was used in religious sacrifices. The tree only grew in dry mountainous regions such as in northeast Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. The scarcity of frankincense made it an extremely valuable commodity. 13. The wise men brought myrrh. Myrrh was also a resin extracted from a tree, and it was used in medicines, perfumes, and as incense because of its strong and distinct scent. Number 14. A large number of angels praised God at the birth of Jesus. Though our traditions always talk about angels singing at the birth of Jesus, the Bible doesn't expressly say that they sang, 
but it did say that they praised God. A multitude of angels suddenly appeared, praising God. 15. The angels said glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward humankind. The messengers of heaven spoke God's good pleasure towards the whole world. Number 16. Joseph was told in a dream to call Mary's son Jesus because he will save his people from their sin. When Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant, he decided to end the marriage process privately, but an angel appeared to him in a dream, letting him know that Mary has conceived of the Holy Spirit. Number 17. Mary was also told to call her son Jesus. Mary found favour with God, and was visited by the angel Gabriel, and he told her that her son will be called Jesus. Number 18. Shepherds were told about Jesus' birth by an angel. Shepherds were guarding their flock in a field nearby, and it was night time. Suddenly, an angel appeared telling them not to be afraid. The angel also had good news that will bring great joy to all people. The good news for all people was that the Saviour was born, the Christ, Messiah, the Lord, the absolute ruler and master of all. Number 19. Jesus' mother Mary was a virgin when she gave birth to him. When Mary was told by the angel that she would have a son, she questioned how that was possible when she had never been with a man before. This is significant because hundreds of years before, the prophet Isaiah said, The Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God is with us. And that's exactly who and what Jesus was. God with humans. 20. King Herod wanted to kill Jesus when he was born. Hearing that a king had been born, Herod asked the wise men to search for this newborn king so that he could also worship him. However, an angel reveals to Joseph in a dream that King Herod was going to search for the child to kill him. 21. The shepherds were the first people to spread the message of Jesus' birth. When the shepherds saw the baby Jesus, they spread the message about what they were told about this child. And now that you know the story as well, you can do the same. Jesus was born to be the one who would save the whole world from being punished for the wrongs that we do. No one can do that apart from him. That's why Jesus' birth was so special. Will you believe in Jesus?